Hey guys, welcome to SideQuest Creatives. I'm Trudy and I am the creative artist behind and co-owner co -owner behind SideQuest Creatives. In this video, I am market prepping slash doing how many bandanas I can make in 12 hours. I know there's a lot of videos out there doing 24 hours, but I got another job, I got three kids, a husband, and yeah, I don't know how 24 hours would play out for me. I think that would be a little too much time. So since I don't have that much to do today, even though I'm starting way later than I wanted to because it's now like 3.45, so this is gonna start at 4 p.m. I'm not gonna stay up till 4 a.m. So what I'm gonna do is when I get too tired, to keep going tonight i am going to stop and then start again tomorrow tomorrow is mother's day so i should have some time um if my kids are well so yeah like i said this is a um market prep for a dog expo slash the bandana how many i can make in 12 hours because i am making a shit ton of bandanas not for just oh i am so tongue-tied i am sorry i cannot talk today not just for dogs but also for their humans so i'll put some pictures up of my puppy modeling some stuff she, she is so annoyed with me right now and she's not here today she is with her parents her puppy parents well not puppy parents her dog parents and her brother, a couple of her sisters, and a brother that my in-laws still have because I got her from my in-laws. So let's see. I have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Maybe more than I thought I had already made. All of these, all of these. A lot of the strings still need sewing, sewing in. The ones I did with Jamaican colors because I am first generation American. Heritage is Jamaican, my heritage and culture. And I still need to do the... I can't speak today, the, the straps for the Jamaican ones. And um, I did a little American one. That I need to finish and I need to do a bigger one for this too and other than that I just need to like sew in the ends for all of them and I'm going to use I'm not counting these because I did not start I did not make these today but I'm going to use the sizes as a references so I'm going to get one of each size extra small to human and use them as references as I um crochet today I already kind of know you know but just to make sure that the sizes are correct I have a bunch of different styles too like this which is pretty cool and yeah so I'm going to get started on that as soon as it turns four o'clock in four minutes um what else I have in here for the market I have a bunch of hats that I made mostly in small I have to make some other sizes this one's not a small this is like a medium tiffany blue color so pretty my one of my sister-in-law's favorite color um this is supposed to be a blueberry everybody's telling me it doesn't look like a blueberry because i need to make this darker blue i am going to do that this week some bee hats bee blueberry i also have a strawberry right here I'm working on a watermelon one, which I will finish tomorrow if I get a chance or Monday. And I'm also gonna do cows, cow hat. And then I have a bunch of scrunchies that I will also have available there. I will have all my stickers available. I'll also be sewing some bandanas and I also wanna do some key fobs for the human parents that will match some of the bandanas that I am going to sew during the week. So yeah, with all of that, let's 
get started. Oh wait, no, let's not get started. I take that back. Grab my crochet bag real quick. Started this one during the week. I'm using these little, these tiny skeins. I really like, I really like this yarn. This is from Walmart actually. I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so I have used some sugar and cream, which I got from Joann's. They were on sale for like $3.99 or $4.99. I don't remember. Oh, shit. But I have been actually really loving these peaches and cream skeins that I got from Walmart. They're only $1.99. They're $2 for, I mean, the skeins are tiny, but they um, give me about four or five um, bandanas, different sizes, of course probably two or three human size ones if you're gonna make them all human size but they have really nice colorways I actually stopped at Walmart before I came here so um, I already have some bandanas of this color I wanted to make some human ones um, I got two of these for my um, neutral tone girlies blues blue and neutral this um kind of rainbowy one this one is called it's called psychedelic psychedelic i actually really like that name um what else i really like it like this faded can you see like this faded color purple and blue and then another like more neutral with speckles i thought was really nice and another blue I thought it might be popular so I wanted to make sure I had enough to make human ones too some of them will only be dogs some of them will be human and dog you know as much as I can do and get out of each skein they are small but for two dollars it is really worth it and the quality is really nice for these um, yarn skeins and if you were ever if you ever saw them at Walmart and were wondering if they were good quality for two bucks Try it. Try it. I think you will be presently, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. But yeah, it is 4 p.m. now, so let me get my hook and let's go. So I got my five millimeter hook. And I'm going to start on this one or finish this one. And this will be my first one. All right, so it is four o'clock and i am going to go until i get tired and i need to go home and go to sleep and or until i leave and if i feel like it i might do some at home and then yeah and then i'll start again tomorrow but i got my crochet hook my yarn and i got chicago fire on so i'm gonna get started So, if anybody cares, my theory about the new firefighter, and I'm a paramedic by the way, so I have spent time in my in firehouses, even though I know this isn't real, it's still entertaining. I think the new guy thinks that Severide is his father. What do you guys think? Oh, and how many bandanas do you think I can do in 12 hours? Comment below. Take the shift off, you know, all the So it's a little bit past six o'clock now. It is 6.13 and I probably would have gotten more done so far. <laughs> I have two 
completely finished a small and a medium and then this is the rest of that skein there's not much left as you can see i think i am going to um add a little bit of this in i think it'll work hopefully it'll look okay and yeah i have been kind of um trying to multitask but i really need to focus on this and get it done because the dog expo is next saturday and i need to get as much inventory as possible but my adhd is adhding today um I, like I said, I got a later start than I wanted to. I was texting about Mother's Day, which is tomorrow. And I think I just want to relax. And also um, uploaded a short to YouTube because I don't want to lose my momentum on that. Also have some drawings and stuff to do, promotions to do. But I'm trying to put it off till Monday because nothing... Nothing's gonna happen whether I do or I don't until Monday. Cause tomorrow's a holiday, it's Mother's Day and that's what everybody is going to be, you know, thinking about. And I should be doing this for the video and for the expo. So, yeah, let's get to it.
All right, so quick check-in. It is 10.30 now and I am starting to get a bit tired and making mistakes. Even though you probably saw me make some mistakes because for some reason when the camera's on, I can't do shit. But I guess it's just something I need to get used to if I'm going to be continuing doing YouTube, which I want to do. So anyway, 10.30 and I've only gotten one, two, three, four done so far. And then this one that I was working on, but getting really tired. My wrist is starting to bother me a little bit. It's getting overworked. Cause you know, I don't just do crochet, I draw, I paint. And you know, I'm a multi-passionate artist. I do a lot of stuff. So I am gonna call it quits for today. And I have decided not to do anything tomorrow because it's Mother's Day and I've been stressed about a lot of stuff, which is why I kept getting distracted while I was crocheting and checking on things and texting and calling and working on other stuff, which is also, you know, my ADHD being ADHD in, yeah. So Monday, I have what, like five and a half hours. I'm going to try and be focused, make sure I'm focused on my task to get as many done as possible. I've done a lot of colorful ones, so I'm gonna try and do, you know, more neutral stuff on Monday. And I also wanna do some red, white, and blue because 4th of July and Memorial Day are coming up. Then, yeah that should be it but of course this is for an event so I do have a lot of other things to prep but I'm gonna do that in during the week probably starting right after the five hours are up for this video but I thought it would be super fun to do to see you know how many I can do in the 12 hours and now I'm back to do another video about the other things that I am making market prepping for the dog expo I got a lot of stuff to cut and sew as well um, some more hats to do I wanted to do some key fobs with a cute little keychain with a dog paw and that's about it I also got to um, get my classes going somebody did sign up for my punchy needle class I am Super, super, super excited about that. I'm trying to see if I can find a keychain, but I can't. So I will see you guys on Monday. Hope everybody has a happy Mother's Day. Relax. See your moms. If you're a mom, take time out just for you because I know you don't do it enough, okay? Take, take a few minutes, take a few hours. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. So it is now Monday. The ring lights in my glasses are super annoying, but the lighting in this room is too terrible to turn it off. So anyway, anywho. It's Monday, the 13th, Monday, May 13th. Yesterday was Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the moms, bonus moms, single dads, grandmas, great grandmas, um, anybody out there who's a mom. Happy Mother's Day, hope it was amazing. I relaxed yesterday, I did nothing at all. I actually took a lot of willpower and not to draw or crochet or punch needle or do any any artistic stuff but actually it was really really relaxing to just play video games and watch YouTube pretty much and cartoons with my kids so yeah that was yesterday today it is now 5 45 p.m. yeah my husband took his mom out earlier today, so I had to stay home, watch the toddler, pick up my kindergartner, which is fine because I am lucky that I have an amazing stepmother, not stepmother, oh my goodness, I have an amazing mother-in-law. 
my mother-in-law is amazing i hear a whole bunch of horror stories but i love my mother-in-law she's amazing and of course i love my husband he's amazing so i have to let him take care of his mom like he took care of me yesterday right so six o'clock i'm supposed to live stream so i'm gonna crochet during my live stream um i just installed obs so i'm going to actually try and start getting that all set up because it's new and yeah i'm just trying to get my streaming and um video making game up so yeah so i'm gonna i just started the application I'm not sure how to use it yet you know i've watched youtube but that's just theory now i need to put it into application before i got here though i did make some pit stops i stopped at the dollar tree let's do a quick dollar tree haul i got this huge bowl this is positive vibes and this i'm going to just fill with water on saturday and put it in front of my or next to my booth for all the dogs that are walking around with their owners um, I also got a mat, this mat, that just popped right off and flew across the room to put the bowl on. You know, we gotta keep things nice and tidy. It's a little too small for this bowl, but you know, we'll make it work. Um, Got a green chalk marker because I got some chalkboards from there the other day. Also got these for prices. The chalkboards I got are also for prices on the table. Um, a pack of pens. Hopefully they work. And these are also going to be on the table for custom order forms or to sign up for my email list. Let's see. Got a couple other things. Let me see. I didn't buy this today, but I got a few of these. These are what the chalkboards look like and what I'll be like writing like, you know, dog hats, the price on. And I also got a purple and white liquid chalk from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's stepping up their game a little bit, even though it's not really Dollar Tree anymore. Everything's a dollar twenty-five. But the last thing I got not a dollar it was five dollars punch needle kit i do punch needling actually teaching a class on it starting the end of this month and throughout the summer hopefully Ooh, i'm close so i got this because i'm gonna do a video on that kit that they're selling at the dollar store to see how legit it is how good it works Right? I kind of see myself as an expert punch needler. I punch needle and tough. So yeah. So come back for that video. And check out the video I did on the Dollar Tree crochet kit. If you haven't, I'm going to put it up here in the eye in the sky. And it is now 548. So I'm going to start setting up my stream and crochet. Hope you guys come to the stream. If not, I will see you back afterward. See how many bandanas I have crocheted. And I think I have five and a half hours, so I will be done by like 11, 11.30, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll figure it out, yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you guys one more thing. I got this guy on Amazon. He is so adorable. He was $18. Couldn't, not really in my budget, but you know he's gonna be on the table displaying stuff i put him in some hats when i got him I had to hide him from my kids because they would totally steal him and hide him from me and claim that it's theirs now so yeah i'm gonna put him on the table put you know bandanas hats and stuff so people can see yeah. all right now off to my stream
so it is now 11 23 i went live for two and a half hours for two hours i was trying to use stream mobs with my phone to go live on youtube and that was just two hours wasted and then um i went live for two and a half hours and i was having internet issues issues with the music i was just having so many issues and then i stopped because nobody was really watching and i was getting tired and i needed to do a pretest for my advanced life saving class renewal tomorrow and without that i can't work as a paramedic so i stopped to take the test not thinking it was actually going to take me an hour but it was 60 questions so i only did three more bandanas in these five hours because i was doing other shit at the same time i got you know a lot going on a lot to do i'm not you know i got kids in the job and i have adhd so in conclusion i've only done seven and a half in 12 hours and maybe i'll do this again well i probably will do this again in the future when i am a full-time artist and creative and i don't have to worry about things for work and um when I have a better streaming setup or I'll learn from this and won't stream at all. So yeah, I'm sure I can do way more than seven in 12 hours. I just can't let myself get distracted. I'm gonna have to find a nice long show to stream for 12 hours back to back. Just binge it while I'm crocheting and do it in one day, just 12 hours. I've worked 12 hour shifts in the ER and at urgent care, so I know I can do it for 12 hours. I just can't let myself get distracted. And I guess <laughs> that's the point of this video. There's distractions in life and shit happens and things aren't always going to go the way you want. But I did complete seven, so I did something. Thank you for watching this <laughs> video um shout out to all the working moms out there i know or and dads anybody working with kids and trying to start their own business you know you know the struggle and yeah so give me a like please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video which will probably be the dog expo i wanted to do a um prep video for the expo but i'm not gonna have time because I have a class tomorrow, class Wednesday, orientation on Thursday. And then Friday, I got a, it's really the only other day I have left besides today to get everything ready. Even though I will still be putting in the late nights these last three nights because I have to sew some bandanas as well as crochet and a couple other things. So yeah, just like a Jamaican, safe goodbye like five times. All right, bye, later.